what's up guys welcome back to a new video my name is patrick and today we're going to be building an, a modern house in minecraft as last episode we have made a, a, a subway train it's cool isn't it and this time we're making a modern house so what you need is white concrete grey concrete orange concrete orange stained glass a, a door and dark oak wood planks <coughs> So, we're going to start off by placing five blocks in the air. One, two, three, four, five. Then we do four blocks. One, two, three, four. And after that, we go up to the side and go one, two, three, four. So it should start to look like that. And also, fun fact. A minute. Just line it. Correctly, it kind of looks like I made that like illusion, <clears throat> but anyway, enough about illusion. We got place this down to the ground, then we place another block like that and like that. And then over here, it's gonna be great orange concrete like one, two, three. And then one, one, two. Sorry guys, my dad just came in to ask me what was happening to me. And then we carry on to do one, two, three. And then we go and then fill it up like that. Then it should look like that. And then we fill it up with orange stained glass. Like that. <coughs> then we live. Then we dig out two blocks and place dark oak wood planks. So then we get grey concrete and then place one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then we place two over like that. So then we're going to leave the gap and then place it like that. Then two doors and then the glass, which would look like that. Then we can get more of the grey concrete and then place so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we do two more over there like that. And then we we get white concrete and place five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. We'll do one, two, three. Then we fill it up like this, so we get blocks to hit. And then we dig up the three block hole like that, and then place right like that. Then we're gonna do the same again. Place concrete over like that. Then we break the block and then fill it up again. Then we are gonna place some orange stained glass like this. like that like that's what it should look like that then we get a uh, uh, dark oak wood planks and then we fill it in like that and then we do the same on this part then it should look like something like this which looks modern enough <coughs> then we're going to get orange concrete and then place one two three we leave a one, two block gap and then one two then we fill up like that we simply just put dark oak wood planks like like so like I, I do here and then place the orange stained glass like that and then just make sure it's three blocks tall for this so then dig a two block gap and then like that and then place the doors. So then it's a modern house so far. Then we're going to get more white concrete and then fill it in like this. So should, this is the first floor. Then we're going to dig out all of this. Will take a while if you have a Xbox 360. Because sometimes, because my suits can do this. Look do it faster but since I might just have to do that 
be annoying. I'm just fill it in with the darker wooden planks. So then you have flooring for your house. We're gonna get to to the interior and lights later on. So so then we have something like that. And this would be our modern house for now. And now we are gonna get some oh it's gonna be separate so then we will quickly leave a gap here so we'll place two blocks down like that leave a gap and then fill it in like this so then we have the second floor like that then what we're gonna do is you see the white bits of concrete make sure you place blocks over there and then fill it up by three make sure it's one two three four blocks tall then just simply do this again as we did on the first floor something like this so it doesn't actually look like an optical illusion then we're going to fill in it with the stained glass these videos are being made so then you can get better and build at building so here when we get to this little gap bit just place a block like that and then something like that and then fill in and then when you get this just place a white concrete block like that so then when you go up here it just looks like that <coughs> and then when you go go back downstairs fill it with the stained glass put a block gap in there and then just place a door like this and then get the stained glass and do something like this Because we're going to do something special for this. Oh no, let's not actually do that because it looks weird. It can just be something like that. Or you can simply get rid of it. I'll just prefer to do it without it. So then it will be much easier. Especially so that then we're going to fill in the glass once again. Make sure it's three blocks tall. If you got if it's four or two blocks tall, you need you need to check if anything's wrong and replay the video. <coughs> then there should be something like this. Now we're gonna get the orange concrete, place it every single block like this, as I'm showing right now, in each corner of the whole tidal, apart from this corner because we're going to connect it up like this like a proper modern house has so then you'll be left with something that looks like this and then also you see this little gap over here in this wall part break two blocks of it like that so have four blocks on each side put two doors on there and then break these bits with a quarter plank and then make sure you place four of them like this and it should be three rows of them then you are going to get the glass you are going to get the panes but a different color i prefer getting a lime because it kind of matches the theme of the house and then you can simply just delete it again if you want to <coughs> then you have a nice little balcony <coughs> <coughs> then we're gonna 
fill in this little, these outlines in grey concrete. <clears throat> then we're going to fill the rest up with orange stained glass. So the so the first part of the house is now done. So let's go to the outside. Okay. So what you need for the outside is moss carpet, oak leaves, and a button. The reason why the button is supposed to give you some little like like for example pebbles. These are supposed to represent pebbles as a little nice touch to the house, like this. Then we're going to add some moss carpet, like this, anywhere you want, so you don't have to follow the instructions properly. You can't, they can, the moss carpet can be anywhere you want it to be. So, so then you can play like this, like that. And then we're going to get the oak leaves, and the oak leaves, and then place them around like this part. Then we're going to place a block here and then go around like this, around the whole entire house. So then it looks like it looks, it has more, much more nature to the whole entire theme of the house. Then we're going to put two blocks like that and then leave a two block gap and then like that. But then what we're going to do is get... The spruce door because it looks like a gate, and now we're going to simply make it go around the whole entire house. It does not have to be like it's shown on here, it can be anywhere you like, so it doesn't have to be over complicated for you. You just simply go around the whole entire house. Making a two block big little bush around the whole entire house so it has some protection from animals trying to get in your garden. And then it should look like this, like that. But it doesn't, you can't place any buttons anywhere, so you can get rid of that. Now we're gonna get some interior for the outside. You need some smooth quartz stairs. You're also going to need a grey shulker box. You're also going to need a, a lantern as well. Then we're going to place quartz stairs next to one of the corners like this. It's, it's like three blocks wide for this one and then two on the sides. And one, two, three, and then another book like that. Then on on the sides so like that, we're gonna place shulkers. Also, if you want it more detailed, just remove those little sides. Get any burnt banner color. I'm choosing orange because then it matches my house color. Because then this looks like a cool little building technique you can use it in mine in Minecraft. It's very useful when building houses. So then it looks like there are pillows on there. Then you are actually, you can place a shulker like that. No, no, no. Like that. So it opens that way towards you. Like that on both ones. And then get a lantern. And then you can just simply just use it like that, like it opens upwards. Then you're going to need <coughs> a slab. So I'm just going to use a smooth red sandstone slab. And then you put it around like that. And over the, on here, in the middle, place a block like that. It puts a lantern on it, so then it emits some light onto here, 
and this is how it should be looking so far for your minecraft build then you're gonna need a hoe any type of hoe you need in creative man i'm just gonna use a netherite hoe and then you need some water and then any type of seeds i'm just gonna use regular seeds and then farmland it from a one two three five blocks like this and then place water like that so then it should be looking like that then you have a nice little farm in your little garden and this is all for the outside part now we're gonna move on to the inside so now since we don't now we're gonna move on to the inside come on did use camera yes sir so we're gonna need birch fence a lantern a ladder a scaff a scaffolding and orange carpet so we're gonna go to the corner over here and then place it a birch fence over here and then put a lantern on the bottom to emit light then we're gonna go to the over next to like over here next to this massive window i'm gonna put put another lantern on there like that so that and then over here on the corner again we're gonna add another lantern then after we did that we are gonna make a little table out of scaffolding so get to this little window place a scaffolding block so it looks like sort of table and put it in a corner like this and then place a, the orange carpet like that and it kind of acts like a table so you look like a table for some reason and that should be your little thingy and if you want to make it much more modern you can get a fence and then place orange carpet on it or you can just stick to having a regular table with a lantern on it or i'll just stick to this because then you can't go through that and then you're going to get another lantern and press it in the corner like that then you're gonna put three whole entire scaffoldings into here and then place three carpets like that then it should be a carpet like that now we're gonna get the ladder the, the thing we were mentioning last time about this thing so get a, a a little ladder like that and then place it all the way down like that so they can climb up and down across <clears throat> the house you can use a scaffolding or a ladder i prefer getting a ladder instead now for the actual interior we are going to be using some glass so downstairs we're going to have a kitchen which has tinted glass smooth quartz stairs smooth quartz block a leafer a hopper and a trapdoor so for the tinted glass we are gonna use some s stairs over here in this little corner like this like a little restaurant style then we're gonna get a tinted glass then place it over here like that then we're gonna get a smooth quartz stair and put it like that like it acts like a desk then over here this massive window go to the corner and put two hoppers like that so it looks like a sink then we're gonna get two arch, arch, oak, dark oak trap doors and place them like that and we're gonna place two levers like that then it acts like taps then we're gonna get place two smooth quartz blocks like that and we are gonna <coughs> also go back to this table and then place two chairs like that so it acts like a dining table then we're gonna get a furnace and gray shelf and a gray shelter box so we're gonna break this one in the middle and then do that and then two of these like that and then an oak trap door on the side and that will be your kitchen and also if you want some more detail 
You can also get a little detector rail if you want one to actually mimic it looking at like a little thingy, you know, the stove. And if you want to make it go overboard like that, you can do a little oven feature to open it like that. But I'm just going to stick to doing this instead. Instead, you can actually do that as well, but I don't recommend it because it looks weird. And yeah, that's your kitchen done from the downstairs. Now, <clears throat> so for this time we need an orange bed, a bookshelf, a crafting table, a chest, an armor stand, a jukebox, a painting and a lightning rod. You know what the lightning rod is for? It's, I forgot to do this but it's here, a pleasure in this corner so then it doesn't get destroyed during the lightning. But here on, the, on my world, there isn't any, I turned off weather cycles, so it's, it will come in handy though. <clears throat> we'll do this at a garden later. <clears throat> so we go up here, we're going to get our armor stand, and then place them in this little corner part. Then we're going to craft and then click, left click on it, and it should do a little pose. Then we're going to get a jukebox and place it in this part. Then we're going to get a painting find something like that, make sure you surround it like that, however big you want it, and then put it like that, so then it looks like a nice little painting. Now we're going to get two orange beds, place them like that. Then you're going to get two chests and place a double one, so then you're going to get a crafting table over here, and then for the bookshelf, you are actually going to make it go above the bed like this. Then we have a little bed, and then we can go out for the balcony. So for the balcony, there's not going to be anything. You can choose to have a chest, but I don't recommend it. And that should be your little room. And also, for, if you want extra detail, you can add a little corner bookshelf like that. But I don't recommend it because then you, can't, you don't have anything to look at through the view. So now we are going to do the outside. So what we need is a dark oak trapdoor, stone stairs, scaffolding, and I and an iron trapdoor. So go through this door. See this little bit, and then you're gonna. Um, so you're gonna have a little fence thing. So you go over here and then start placing down until you get to your little fence bit. I recommend. The little bushes being like, uh, wait a minute, six blocks away from this part, so then you can easily do it. So then it's not too big. And then you should have something a little like garden thing, and then you're going to crouch down, and you're going to be placing it like that something like that and then you are going to go along and cl close all of them up like that so it acts like a little fence but you know this little bit <clears throat> this little bit is going to be maybe you don't have to do <clears throat> anything to it it can just stay but instead you can just do that and then yeah so then it doesn't look weird but I prefer it being perfect, and then you're just gonna, you're just gonna do this, and then until it's two blocks tall, and then boom, like this. And also, if you just hate going around the house, you can just simply get a two block gap like that to represent it and then scaffolding across here like like three maybe like like something like six blocks big like that and then you can just add stone stairs around it and then like this and then you can do the other side like this and you can <coughs> Sorry guys, that was just a stupid mess of called save this. God, I can't believe it. Oh yeah, remove that little moss block. Oh god, you have this little gap. 
and you have a nice little thingy. We have a little garden. Then you're gonna get the iron trap and place it over like that. But if you want some more space in your garden, you can just simply remove it and do something like this. I recommend doing this because then it doesn't look ugly. And you can get your oak door trap door like that and then place it around like that. But I'll just stick to this anyway. So this is everything for your Minecraft house. You are wanted to build the whole time. If you if you found this tutorial help you helpful, be be please consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video and clicking the bell not to miss any other Minecraft tutorials like like this because now my wheat are growing. That's cool. And yeah, if you have a, if you want to build a subway train as well, go to the last video I ever made. <coughs> the last video before this one and this is a quick tour of your house so you have a little like gate over here you go through here the little seating area these buttons do nothing you have shulkers which then you go around there's a little farm over here where you go around you see a balcony and then just how on earth is this chicken and then you just simply have a little garden when you also go around over here, which you have a little nice lounging area, which you then also go inside of the house. You have a little kitchen, a little seating area. Also, you can get into the garden easier like this, and then you go upstairs, and this is your bedroom. And then you have your little cool balcony, which you can actually use, and then this will be perfect for your house for your tutorial for your lovely minecraft world and yeah please consider subscribing be sure to like subscribe click the bell not to miss any vi videos and please comment down below for more tutorials like this and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye